Patreon nights, Tigers. This is our second to last week before the end of school. So let's dig right in and get to work. I have learned some new features of Zoom that are gonna hopefully make this more fun as we're going along. Um, so the target we're gonna focus on for English language arts is that I can strengthen my writing by editing it. And we're gonna talk about an editing checklist. We're also gonna focus on identifying themes in historical fiction. Let me make my screen a little bigger for you there. And in math, we are going to uh, focus on learning about triangles. And I can see that it's not on this page, but it'll be a little later. Okay, so we have our opinion uh, writing task and there's a nice rubric on here that you can use to see if you are hitting the targets of what um, your teachers are looking for in this rubric. But if we look at this sheet about what does it mean to edit, this will give you a guide for fixing up and polishing your writing to make sure it's ready for the final draft. So your family should help you with this because it's a little tricky to do it on your own. So the first step is that you really want to read your paper out loud. Um, let me get something different here. So read it out loud to make sure that it makes sense. Because sometimes when you read it out loud, you realize, oh, I forgot to add a word or I want to change this. And then the next thing I want you to focus on is making sure you have capital letters at the beginning of your sentences, but also um, make sure you don't have capital letters where they're not supposed to be. I notice a lot of kids using the capital B when they don't need to use it. So make sure that you only have capitals at the beginning of each sentence and for proper nouns. So things like the name of a place is a proper noun, um, the, the word I, um, and you know the names of things, a specific person, place, or thing, those are all now proper nouns that need to be capitalized. Okay, and then you want to really study this list down here and make sure that you're using the correct version of each of these words and that you're spelling them correctly and your families can help you with that. So keep all of this in mind when you are working on editing your final draft of your opinion essay. Okay, next we're gonna focus on historical fiction. Historical fiction just means a story that is about something that happened, that could have happened based on a real event in history. They've just changed some of the details so it's a fiction, a made up story. So we're gonna read this uh, Tigris, River Valley Boy, and we're going to try to figure out if we can find out how we know it's historical fiction. So something that happened that was real in history, but some of the details have been changed to make it fiction, made up. The hot sun shone down over the dry valley. Ilulu had been digging for hours and was quite tired. He stopped to take a short rest and looked out over the canals stretching across the valley. Work was coming along well, but there was still so much to do before the rainy season arrived. If canals were finished on time, the people of the valley could use the water to grow crops. But if the canals were not finished, the river would flood and wash away the crops. Okay, so how do we know it's a historical fiction? Well, it happens uh, for something that really happened in history. Um, so I might say uh, the real history of digging canals uh, was enhanced by the fictional character Il Ulu. So this person didn't actually exist. It, that's the fiction part. 
but the work of actually digging canals really did happen. So that's how that I know it's a historical fiction. So I'm going to get rid of that so you can see the next uh, thing here. What text feature is included in the text? Well, we can see there is a picture, there's a nice title, the words match the picture of what's happening. It helps, it's almost, it's not a caption or anything, but it's just like a regular paragraph. So we know that it is a historical fiction piece. How does the illustration help you understand the text? Well, when you look at it, you can see uh, what a canal looks like. You can really picture what hard work that would be using the tools they had in history. You can get a better idea of what they're talking about um, and what a canal is and why it's important. So these are some of the things that you could write about in learning about historical fiction. Um, and there's another question there, but I'm going to move on so I don't make the video too long. Uh, okay, next we're going to work on a little bit of vocabulary for math. So there's some what's my number questions here. And I just wanted to highlight some of the words here so that you can figure out what these words mean. And it'll help you guess the number. So factor, uh, the factors are numbers that are multiplied together. So the example would be like two times five equals 10. So two and five are factors of 10. And then um, the other word that I circled there is product. That is uh, actually, I'll type it somewhere else so you can actually see it. Product, the answer when you multiply. So in our example, two times five equals 10. 10 is the product. Okay, so let's get to it here. It says, I am a factor of 12. The other factor is three. What number am I? So I might go ahead and draw. I know that three is one factor times something else will give me the product or the answer of 12. And if you know your multiplication facts, you know that three times four makes 12. So four is the number they're trying to guess and I might circle it to show. Okay, we'll do one more and then you can do the rest on your own. I am a product. One of my factors is two. The other factor is one greater than four. What number am I? Oh, and this should be pretty easy because we were just doing this in our examples. So two is one of the factors. The other factor is one greater than four. So one greater than four is going to be five. And what they want to know is the product. What number am I? We were just practicing that. It's 10. And I would circle 10 because that was the number they were looking for, even though we had to do some guessing for five. So. I hope that that's helpful knowing what a factor is, the numbers that are multiplied together, and the product is that answer. So do this page with your family and have fun guessing the numbers. The last thing I'm gonna show you today is your triangle page. And we've talked a lot about triangles, and now you get to show what you know. So what's gonna happen is um, you're gonna notice that there are um, descriptions of what are in triangles here. So for example, this triangle has one right angle. This triangle has zero sides of the same length. They're all different lengths. And you're going to read about those features of the triangles that we've learned. And then down here, you're going to apply what you know. And when I first looked at this, I thought it looked really confusing and I wasn't sure what they wanted me to do. 
And then I realize what they want you to do is to draw the line to match the description of the triangle on both sides. So here you have one triangle, you have a dot here and a dot there. So you're gonna match one of these statements with this dot and one of these statements with this dot. So we'll do this one as an example, or actually we'll just do the first statement in each and then hopefully that will give you an idea of what to do. So if we do this, it says one angle is a right angle. So I have to look at the triangles and I see there's my little square in the corner, so that's a right angle. And I draw my line to this dot because that's the statement and there's the triangle that it matches. And if I go over here, no sides are equal in length. Well, I look here, oh, those are all equal. This one looks like it has two of them that are equal, but this one definitely, there's a really short one, a little bit of a longer one, and a really long one. So I think that this is the one that matches no sides are equal in length. And then you're just gonna go and do those, um, the next questions and if you get confused look up here and it'll tell you what to do um, and which one it will match so i hope you guys enjoy your packet this week we've got one week left i'll see you for our last round of videos next week bye tigers